Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Cloudflare. In this video I will not show how you can use Cloudflare as Dynamic DNS, but I will show you how can you configure Cloudflare as a tunnel. In this way you can have more for this application and you're gonna explain why you wanted to use it. Have some situations. First of all, you can have your ISP blocking you to open some ports. So once that you try to open the port 8 or a port 4 for free, you cannot do it. So you cannot host some sites or cannot use your application outside for your house without a proper VPN. Other thing, sometimes you're not safe, you don't feel confident to open those ports. In this way, you can have everything block or all the ports in your router closed and anyway you can access it and have Cloudflare using a proxy and protect this IP or your IP against of anyone to detect it. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for the channel if you're not yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain how you can do this installation, we need to be clear some points that you need to have. First thing, you need to have your own domain, and this domain needs to be linked to the Cloudflare. If you want to use a free domain, or you want to use DocDNS, this one will not work. So you can go in the internet and search the cheapest domain that you want and add to the Cloudflare. After this one, you need to have, of course, a Cloudflare account, and then you can start to do the installation. But before we do the installation, we're gonna come in my computer and we go step by step to make a little bit more clear for you. First thing, here it's my Cloudflare account and this account is linked for my website, Sauber Lab. This website, they have a few access, I think that's 1.91 thousand views or requests and over the 24 hours. If I go over the seven days will be more and over the 30 days will be either more. But I'm not worried about this magic. What I want is to connect my Cloudflare to my house. And normally what I'm gonna do, I will come here in my DNS. Here in my DNS, I will be able to create all my websites. So all those websites exist and here will be my IP address for my server. And other thing that's interesting for this Cloudflare is that it's proxed. It means that if you try to pin this website do not appear this IP address that I'm hiding now, but you're gonna see any other IP address that you have no idea what's it. So it's the uh, good thing for the Cloudflare. But in this video, we will not go so much how you can connect this DNS. I will show how you can use the Cloudflare to new. So this way, we need to use the Cloudflare Zero Trust. So we go back in the main page and we click here in a Zero Trust. Once that you click in Zero Trust, will appear this page. And this page you need to set up first time. After you do it, it's only you start to use. So the idea is it protect your local network. And in this video, we're gonna go specific for the tunnel. So this tunnel, how it's work? They will make kind of VPN between the Cloudflare and your house. And in this way, you can configure everything in your way. So let's come here in tunnel and here will appear all the connections that you have. Here I'm hiding here because there's already some configuration that I did and I don't want to share with everyone what I did here. Let's start to create then our tunnel. To create our tunnel, it's easy, we put, can put here, create a tunnel. Here you can set any name that you want. In my case, I will put Sauber Lab and I will put Save Tunnel. Once that you save the tunnel, they will appear this page. You can configure this tunnel windows, you can configure the Mac, Debian, Red Hat, but in our case, we're gonna use Docker. In the Docker, they already explain how you can configure it or how you can add this tunnel to your system. It's simple, you can only copy and paste it. In my case, I will use Synology NAS. What's the idea? They will run a Docker run and it will install this container, Cloudflare, the Cloudflare. So if you open this container, this container has been updated four days ago. This container, it's the client for Cloudflare Tunnel. And here they give a little bit explanation about it. We don't need to read everything. We can come now in our Synology NAS. And here in my Synology NAS, we need to download the Cloudflare, Cloudflare. Once that you download it, you can launch it. So we can start it. And here it's the configuration, the network. 
In my case, I can use exactly the same network in the Docker. If you want to choose any other of those, it's your choice, but no, it's not needed. You can go directly for the Docker host and put next. So this configuration works as a host. Now we need to enable to auto restart. This one is really important that if your system restart or this container drop for any reason, do restart. If you don't restart, your website is unaccessible and it's not interesting if you want to access externally. So now we can come advanced settings and here we don't need to modify anything in environmental link. Only thing that we need to add in execution command. So now we need to open the notepad and come here and copy this information. In my notepad, I can pass this information and we come here in the start. Here in the start, I can remove all this information previously and I can remove this out update. Why I can remove it? Because they already put Cloudflare no out update. So they will add, have this information, don't need to add a second time. Now, now I come here and I copy all this information and come here and paste it. Now I can put save. Once that I save, I can put next. Here in folders or volumes, I don't need to configure anything because this configuration don't require any application, any volume for it. They will only run in your run memory. So I can come here next and I can put as a done. Once that you put done, they will start this application. And once that they start, you can come here and you will see that it's connected. Once that's connected, you put next and now you can set up your first website. To set up your first website, we're gonna use Sabre Lab and I will use exactly the same domain that I have and I will put the protocol that I want. Let's go for one of the applications that I want to expose externally. In my case, the application that I want to expose externally is Portainer. And Portainer uses the port 9000. So I can come here and I use exactly the same IP address plus port 9000. So let's do it. I will put here port 9000. In my case, this portainer, they use HTTP, so I can select HTTP and I come for advanced application. Here we can configure our HTTP configuration, so I will enable this option. In the connections, I can have a connection timeout, have a bow that I want to habilitate, and if I want to do any other configuration, I can define here. Also, I can define the access. But in my case, I will not select it and put save tunnel. Once that you configure your tunnel, you can come here in your public host name and here you have the service, the path if you need some path, and here is the public host domain. So I'll come here and open this host domain. Now I have access for my portainer. And now here I can do my login for portainer. I'm using external access for this portainer. Other thing that's interesting, if you come here, this website is already automatically HTTPS. It means that I have a SSL certification. And if I come here in my key, my connection issue and valid certification, they will appear all the information. So this certification, it's done by my website, sauberlab.com. They don't have organization or path because I didn't configure it, but they have a Google Trust service and everything it's configured. So if I come here my details, I have all the details for my certification and here I have access for my application. And in this way, I can use any application that I want and I don't need to directly port, I don't need to do any extra configuration. I only access it external and it's protected. So other thing that's interesting for it, if I try to ping this application, so if I come here put ping sauberlab.sauberlab.com there will appear a website. And if I try to open this IP address, the same way that we will do if I access it, they will say that directly it's not allowed. Why it? Because Cloudflare is protected and they are create a proxy. So they will not know exactly what is my IP address because Cloudflare is protected and it's quite interesting. Other thing that it's good is that if I stop this application portainer, I put the stop it. And then I try to access my portainer, the same way that I have, they will stop, they will say bad gateway, please Cloudflare for more information. And they say that the browser is working, the Cloudflare is working, but I cannot access the host. 
if any reason your website go down cloudflare will make sure that no one can access it they will block and say the host is down try to access another time so in this way we finish how to configure this cloudflare tunnel of course have much more information much more configuration that you can do but in this video we're gonna do only the basics and that the next videos i will do more advanced information I don't want to do a really long video because otherwise it would be boring and most of people not watch it. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.